How's it going, guys? It is LambChops99 here, bringing you the Team of the Week prediction for November the 5th, this upcoming Tuesday. And basically, I think I got the team figured out, so we're going to jump right into it. But we're going to start off with the goalies here, Mark andre Fleury and Corey Crawford. Mark andre Fleury won the past three games of three games he played, and Corey Crawford, also playing very good, has about five points in his last three games, so... Basically, he won two and a half games. He lost in overtime against Calgary, but he has quite a few wins. And then now we're going to go right into the first line. And before I get to the first line, Mark andre Fleury is the NHL three stars of the week. I think he's number two, but I'm not sure. He is in the NHL three stars of the week, so he's definitely going to be in that team of the week. And for line number one, we got Jason Chimera, Kyle Turris, Pominville, Brooks Orpik, and Carlson. So Jason Chimera... Uh, first off, had two goals and four assists. Kyle Turris had one goal, four assists, and Jason, or yeah, Jason Pominville had uh, four goals and two assists. And Pominville and Jason Chimera uh, both were in the NHL three stars of the week, so they're definitely going to be in it. I'm not sure if Jason Chimera is going to be on the first line, but he could be on the second one. And Kyle Turris, of course, is up there with one goal, four assists. And then Brooks Orpik, four assists and a plus six rating. And Eric Carlson with one goal, four assists and a plus two rating. So he, I, I know he's in the last team of the week or the previous two weeks ago, but I think he's going to be in the next team of the week. So if you have him, you probably should sell him your hut live, uh, Carlson. Next, line two, we got the kind of the whole Chicago line. I think they're going to put a whole Chicago line. Maybe Petrangelo will be switched out with Letty. But uh, the whole Chicago line was doing very, very well. Uh, they won, I think, they're, out of the three games they played, they won two games and lost one in overtime. But uh, we're going to get right into it. Eric Carlson, one goal, four Oh, wrong one, sorry. Patrick Sharp, two goals, two assists. Jonathan Taves, three goals, two assists. Marion Hosa, two goals, four assists. Duncan Keith, a plus, or not plus, zero rating. And uh, he got four assists. And Alex Petrangelo with three goals and one assist. So that is my line two. And line three here, we got Chris Kunitz, David Leguan, Joel Ward, uh, Ryan McDonough, and we got Mike Green. So uh, Chris Kunitz had four goals. David Leguan had three goals, two assists. Joel Ward, the the hat trick hat trick boy, got uh, three goals, one assist. Ryan McDonough, one goal, two assists, and Mike Green with three assists with a plus three rating. So that is my line three. And line four, uh, I tried to change it up than uh, last week. I try to make kind of a grinder, kind of uh, power forward kind of line. So first, we got Alex Killorn with two goals and three assists, which is pretty crazy. Uh, we got Chris Kreider with two goals, three assists. And Tyler Sagan, which I was kind of iffy about, but I put him in. with He had two goals and three assists. But that is the team of the week prediction for November the 5th. And of course, Brooks Orpig and Carlson are line one and line four. They're switchable. So that is the team of the week prediction, guys. Hopefully, I can get many right. And if I do, then I'm going to be pretty happy. I will post out the team of the week team of the week prediction results tomorrow and see how many I get correct and I'll show you the new team of the week as well so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video leave it a like if uh, you think any of these guys deserve to be on this team but but leave a comment subscribe and see you guys later bye